very good use of alliteration. F F F. I really like F word, so that's a very good one. <laughs> and as audience, we were clear about the content. We knew what to expect, and it was easy to follow through. It was about your friends. So next, you engage the audience. You ask a question. Who here has an annoying, irritating, funny friend? Now. You know, I know, and we all know that we have one such friend, and that's Arjun who's seated right there. So it was not only a very good question, it was very relevant, and it engaged the audience, it set us thinking. And do we have such a friend? Yes, we do. So, also, I would like to uh, commend you on your exceptional uh, observation skills. I really enjoyed the part when you explained the different uses of all. So there was the cute one, the all. And then the the accusing one like oh, and lastly the the one that's oh of enlightenment. So as a local as a local who loves her singlish very <coughs> much, so I really enjoyed that snippet. Now I move on to there are two areas of improvement. So firstly, I'd like to uh, mention about pauses, the use of pauses. So especially at the last part, when you were driving a message across to us, across to us especially during Christmas, about the importance of friends, and actually you could have used uh, pauses more effectively to uh, emphasize and to impact your, uh, to have a more impactful message. Like you were saying, to understand, to love, to forgive. So that's one way you could have used it. And next uh, was actually like, the first story was not very clear. It caused like confusion among the audience. Maybe you could have specified that it was your roommate who was sharing a room with you, and then it was a bunk bed. Because at first you said that your friend was sleeping below you. I was like, oh. And then next you said it was a girl. Then I'm like, oh. And then you mentioned you went out to get food for her at 3 a.m. in the morning, something which my boyfriend would never do for me. And then I'm like, oh. 